everyone and welcome back to another wonderful video. I'm very excited even though it's 12 o'clock already uh, at night. So it's all, it's actually like morning <laughs> basically. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is showing you a tutorial on how to play um, the Tetris theme song. And I'm not sure what it's actually called. But that's what it's known for right now. So I'm going to show you how to do it, but let me get set up first. I'm going to get it from the regular piano to the special one that I like. As you can see, I have it set, so listen. There we go. So you guys can hear that. Um, right, so first, we're going to start off with the first part. So we have, we start on an A. So from the middle C, you'll go C, D, E, F, G, A. So this is A. And then you'll go from A to an E. And then you just go back up to G. So like this. And then you start from an F and go down to a D. And then hit the D twice. Then you skip to an F again. Then to the A. And then you go back down from here, from a G, to like this. From a G to F to an E. Then it goes back up. sound like all together. It sounds pretty cool already, right? Um, and then we'll learn the second part. So then, this is the harder part, but it's still it's easy to learn. So you start on a G, and then you go up to a B flat. And then you go to the next scale, to a D on the next scale. And then you go to C on the next scale. Back to the B flat. To an A. Click it twice. Go down to an F. Back to A. And then you go from a G. Yeah, a G. Down to the E. And then back up. F, G. part together will be like this. And then we're almost done. Last one will be like the easiest part. Because it goes really slow. So you go on an A and then go down to an F. And G. This one? Alright, one second. A C sharp, I think. And then you go back to an E. And then you repeat that again. But then instead, you stop at the E. And then go up from F. Skip to A. And then skip to D on the next scale. And then C sharp on the next scale. And then that's going to sound like. It's going to sound like that. And then that's basically it. It just repeats after that. I and mean, it has like different pitches and stuff, but I don't really worry about that. And then all together, you'll go like this. can go a 
faster because that was pretty slow. You can go. And then, yeah, you can do it like that. Or you can do it super fast like this. And this is how I like to challenge myself. See how fast I can do it? In maybe a day or two, you guys can learn how to do it and do it that fast just as well. Um, also, if you really want to get, like, into details and stuff, let me zoom out. If you have a keyboard like this one, you will usually have a pitch tuner right over here. This little knob, a little black knob on the side. If you touch, if you, like, push that down or put something heavy on it, you can do this. Turn it back. By the way, I'm going to put like a Nerf gun or something on it. So you'll go, see? Yep. So let's see. I'm just going to put my hand on it. <laughs> so I'm going to push it down first, and then I'll go like this. <laughs> more slow and kind of like sad or something and then if you push it up it sounds more excited and you can use the pitch tuner to or the pitch bender you can use that to make it sound different but if you have a regular piano it should work the exact same just not with the pitch thing because uh, that's only for keyboards so, I guess, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share all these videos with your friends, family, and everyone else you know. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.